What is up everybody? If you want to add a single product page into your WordPress using the Elementor tool, it's going to be really, really easy. If you actually don't know how to add the Pro Elements totally for free, you can go into the proelements.org and hit into download. So once you download out this actual free tool, you can go back into your WordPress and you can make the quick installation uh, now that you are here into your actual plugins. So what I want to do is to exit in here and I want to look for my actual uh, side here. So I'm going to go back into my dashboard. I'm going to hit into the business development side, which is actually this one. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this once again. I'm going to hit into the um, dashboard once again. And here is my plugins. So hit into add new. And here into add new, you want to choose the elemental tools that you want to add and then you can upload your plugin here that you downloaded and then you're actually good to go. And here is the elemental already been added. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to actually create the elemental. Now what I want to do is to actually create a single product page. So I'm going to hit into save changes. Just like that, I'm going to hit into all my pages and I want to select all of them and I'm going to be deleting all of them so we can start totally from scratch like that. And I want to add a new page like this. And there we go. So I think it's going to be just really, really easy to create a actual page inside this one. So what I want to do is to use this URL to edit this one into Elementor. So I'm going to be choosing edit with Elementor. So Elementor stacked 55. So it's going to be popping up the actual Elementor tool. So now what I want to do now is to look out for the actual element that I want to add. So either you want to choose the actual widget of a product that appears in here, the loop grid, the price list or the price table, or you want to choose a template. And for that, you want to click into the plus one or the folder that appears in here. It's going to appear in different pages. So in here, I want to look for single product or just type product, product like this. So here uh, is, for example, the shop here, but all of them are actually pro versions. So we can actually don't count into that into uh, our our store. So we're going to hit into shop and let's see if there's something that we can actually add to leave it free. For example, this one that says under construction like this. And you want to go into the insert part, hit into apply, and then we're actually good to go. So uh, this is something you can add into the Elementor. I think that if you want to find something that you can add into your store. Now, in my case, I think I'm going to just move this to the height and the full width. And there we go. So I think you just stretch this uh, top. I just want to make all my stuff already like this right so here into add widget i'm going to select this structure like that i'm going to hit into plus and i'm going to look for a product i have a price list a price table and a loop grid so i'm just going to go into drag and drop and here is my template so i can just create a new template hit into save of course and I can just get started with my actual element. So once again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that we just did before, which that would be the actual adding of the post. So I can add some price here. For example, price list, and I can add the widget here. And here is my price list. So I just need to list some items in here and change the style and the advanced tools really, really easy to use. Now, another way that I can uh, suggest you to add your product, which I think it's like really, really easy, is to have your Striped account. Now, Striped to be an amazing tool to sell your stuff. So once you do have your stuff, a Stripe account already being created, what you want to do is to go into the dashboard. And here in the dashboard, you want to locate the actual direct link. So I want to look, for example, the payment link. And I want to look for link URL. I'm going to tap into new. And here, as you can see, I have the page of the product. So here, what I want to do is to actually select the product. So let's say, for example, this is a premium plan of the 23, the product or subscription, the collect customer address, or just, just want to leave it like that. 
And then what you want to do is to create the linked. That appears in them. I'm going to hit into create linked. I am just going to confirm the passcode and hit into continue. Now in my case, I believe that this one is not that accurate, so I'm going to just leave it like that. You copy the inbeamed code and you paste that into your actual uh, elemental tool. So go back here into the edit price list. I'm going to go on. I mean, if you don't want to see something, you don't have to worry about that. Just clicked into the actual block, edit the page, hit into save and delete that like this. There we go. So here is our layout. Here's the structure and here is the style and the advanced tool. So once you find that, I think that this one can be edited as well. So the column, you want to edit the, te the actual template. So here's the element. I'm going to hit into the edit template. I'm going to look for some service information. And here, let's say that I want to just select this just for as an example. Of course, I want to look for something more easier like this book here. I'm going to copy this image address and I'm going to paste that into my insert from URL. I'm going to paste that in here. It says insert medium. So as you can see, I have two different blocks. I'm going to go into this one. It says plus. And here you want to type, let's say, for example, this part of the heading. So let's say that this is a custom book uh, PDF file. And I'm going to leave it like that. And here I want to click in here once again. And here I have the content once again. I'm going to tap into the theme builder. I think I'm going to go back like this. And here I want to look for the actual payment. So let's say they have the price table, the Facebook button, the PayPal button. This one is the one that I want to look for. And I'm going to paste that down in here. It says buy now. Really, really you think? I think it's going to be really easy to use. So once again, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to look for text editor. And I'm going to add that in here. Like that. Because I just want to add like a shorter description of my item. So I'm going to double click here. This is a short description of my item. You can buy it down below. And here you want to choose the payment option. So as you can see, this is something really easy to use. And lastly, I'm going to just change the alignment. And here's the button ID and here's the link. You can hit into publish if you actually don't want to see this um, actual button. You can just buy now here or pay now. I think that I just need to change the actual style of this button like the actual border or just leave it like that. I'm going to hit into the edit mark and here I want to look for the hover. I think just going to leave it like that. Here I'm just actually want to see if this one actually works. So once you update this I want to go back here into my actual site settings. I'm going to hit into the exit mark or go into the view page. So much more easier to take a look into your uh, actual page. Scroll all my way down. Here's my product. And instead of choosing buy now, I'm going to choose pay now because I already selected this option. I've enabled this one. And just like that, it's going to be sending me into this drive to check out and look how it's going to be looking my test mode plan section of my just email card information name and card and much more so really really easy to add that with that being said guys we've now reached into the very end of the video with that being said hopefully this was very useful for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys if you don't want to see more amazing tools for this actual uh elemental tools thank you for watching the video guys and well i will see you on the next time